Hello and welcome, Shield for Men here. So I saw this video um, by a YouTuber called Cherie Female Supremacy. And this is really a telling title because all her channel is about female supremacy and how women are supposedly superior to men, which in my opinion is uh, radical hate speech against men. So uh, this is actually ridiculous and I will respond to it. Um, so so yeah, let, let's just watch this. It's called Female Supremacy, Gynarchy, Our Solution. Gynarchist is someone who believes that government should be managed under a gynarchy rather than the failed, outmoded patriarchy system that currently exists in most societies. What ex so first mistake already. She just uh, said that we live under patriarchy. Uh, he would actually have to pr provide evidence for that, um, which she does not. So we, she cannot just uh, claim that without evidence. We don't live under a patriarchy. We actually already live under a gynarchy is a gynarchy. A gynarchy is a kind of governance in which women, rather than men, dominate power. It is a society and government administered by and for women, including the creation of laws and bureaucracy that favor women. We already live in such a society. And he is proof of that. So, he is um, biased against men's issues within the United Nations and the World Health Organization. Okay. The UN operates 69 Twitter accounts dedicated to women's issues, culminating in over 300,000 tweets since 2008. The UN does not operate a Twitter account for men's issues. So if we uh, would live in a patriarchy, it would be the other way around. But we have uh, UN women, we have all international big international organizations um, dedicating time, effort, energy and money for women's issues and talking about empowering women and, and all of that. Uh, even though in many cases they are already privileged, but they want to uh, give them more pri privileges. So, um, so this is ridiculous. Um, we already live in a society that is uh, dedicated to favor women. All right. So let us watch more of this. Simply expressed, it is a female-led society in which women hold all significant governmental offices and make all choices for the welfare of society. The thing is, even though there might be like more male politicians, uh, even though in many cases that has already reversed, but women already control significant parts of the governmental system, even indirectly. Uh, for example, here you can have uh, women's votes, voter rates are higher, uh, women generally turn out to vote at higher rates than men. All right. So this already this proves that women have like no say on our political system. It's absolute nonsense. As a whole, why would society benefit from a gynarchy? The patriarchy system that most civilizations have lived under is out of date, not to mention that it has continually failed, showing that it does not function. You have not even proved that it has lived under a patriarchy. Um, and again, I mean, even if it supposedly did, let's just assume for argument's sake that it did, um, I think our current standard of living is actually decent. So, um, from a civilizational standpoint, you know, with comfort and technology, so the track record isn't actually <laughs> all that bad when you think about it. but. Um, but again, there is no 
patriarchy system. So, or at least you have not proven that. You have not shown me ev any evidence for that. You just assumed that. It fails because patriarchy reinforces the assumption that males are superior to women. It exists in denial of the female gender's true superiority. Uh, citation needed, I mean, and you, you have not shown that uh, f the female gender is superior and to say so is actually hate speech, you know that, right? Um, say group X is superior to another group based on their uh, characteristics like gender, race, or something like that. That is actually bigoted hate speech. Society must reject patriarchy's lies and both recognize and embrace the reality that is gynarchy, which proclaims the natural and biological supremacy of woman over man, and the empowerment of woman for the benefit of the world and all people. So, and it's even self-contradictory because if women were like superior, these superior uh, beings over men, then why would they even need empowerment, right? They would be uh, at the top uh, based on their own merit, right? So it's already contradictory here. Male or female, women are inherently better leaders than males. Women make better decisions, are more rational, are less violent, and respond. So this is all nonsense, and I will prove it to you right now. So women make better leaders, yeah. Uh, queens on attack. So queens were 27% uh, more likely to get involved in wars. In fact, they were more likely than kings to either start wars or continue those of their predecessors. So women as leaders are not necessarily more peaceful. Actual evidence from historical data shows that they are actually more violent and cause more wars. So that is all really nonsense. Um, and there's another thing here about women in politics, right? So compared to men, women are less interested in politics less likely to follow current events. Um, so, and, and keep in mind that there, the voting rates are higher for women, right? Um, so, and here's also, uh, women remain less confident than men of their ability to understand politics. So, to say that having, like, female leaders has, like, all these amazing benefits, uh, when it comes to politics or something like that, it's complete nonsense. Better under pressure and stress. Science has demonstrated this. Simply put, women are... Where's, where's the science, though? Okay, we, we can look at the description here. So where's the science? I, I don't see any science here. It's really, I see no studies. Uh, is this maybe in a pinned comment? No, no science to speak of. So, uh, what can be claimed without evidence can be rejected without evidence. More capable than men of governing governments and guiding societies. We don't need gender equality to make the world a better place. Only there you have it, a feminist saying that we don't need gender equality. There you have it. It's another proof that feminists don't want uh, gender equality. They want supremacy. They want female supremacy. This is more proof of that. So any feminist that tells you that they, they want to have uh, gender equality, um, that is a total lie. They want supremacy. Here's another example of a feminist exactly telling us that comprehensive worldwide gynarchy will do. How would a gynarchy affect the average family and household? The household, like government, should and would be a matriarchal system in which the woman is the head of the household. Make That's already the case though, isn't it? Women are already head of the household, right? Um, 
Here you have woman direct uh, eighty three percent of all consumer uh, uh, consumption in the United States. So if so, so they direct the, they direct the household spending basically. If that is not head of the household, then what is right? And again, a woman can easily uh, destroy a man in the divorce court. So she has more power in the relationship easily, just based on that. So she can also um, uh, beat up her partner, right? And the cops then arrest him when, when he calls the cops. So who who's really ahead of in, in the household? We already have this matriarchal system that she, she wants, actually, but we already have it all family choices, as women are much better prepared to do so. In a matriarchal household, the woman is in charge of all money, and is the major or sole provider. Again, as I've shown, this is already the case. Either for the family. Of course, in the end, it is up to the woman to determine whether or not she wants her husband or boyfriend to work, and how much financial support she wants him to offer for the family. In many situations, the guy would stay at home and serve as the house husband, cleaning, cooking, and caring for the children. Would males be treated as slaves with no rights in a gynarchic government? No, it does not. The they're already in a gynarchic... They already live on a gynarchic government and they're already slaves, more or less. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't do something about it. So the system that she speaks of, it's already implemented, more or less. It's only gonna get worse uh, gradually. There are certain radical groups who support a radical form of gynarchy in which males are enslaved by women. The international gynarchy movement does not support slavery or any radical form of governance that legalizes slavery. Men would still be free to choose their own life, receive an education, and pursue a job in any field in a true gynarchy. Um, but this contradicts her former statement of the woman would ultimately be the head of the household and if the guy decides he wants to work somewhere he wants to work in his passion career but the woman then says no you actually have to uh, have the high paying office job instead so what will that uh, what does this entail that doesn't really have a true choice in your uh, vision, right? So this is not a nonsensical claim that she makes. After all, men can be clever, creative, insightful, and imaginative, and humanity would not gain from losing all of men's talents. How would... So she's only after men's talents, but not after their rights. She, she wants to use men again. This is also what uh, thread cons once and this shows you that feminism and thread con ideology is closely linked actually things be different for men and women if there was a gynarchy the new world under a gynarchy will be remarkably similar to the world now albeit vastly enhanced in many aspects women feel empowered in a gynarchy and are no longer held back by the patriarchal society the there's no such thing as patriarchal society and they are not held back. I mean, look at this, right? Look at how many women organizations there are worldwide, right? Look at how many. They're all supporting women, right? And I even found this, right? Um, this is like ra random uh, women organization from this huge list here. And it's about China, right? And uh, all China Women's Federation and uh, it's always said that China is like this patriarchy or whatever well even this uh, woman organization here is linked to the CCP to the Chinese Communist Party the uh, this woman organization maintains a strong connection to the CCP through the women's committees in the government so they have women even have their own committees in the government to empower women and whatnot. 
do we have that uh, with men in the same way? Not, of, of course not, right? So, kind of uh, p uh, patriarchal system, I ask. And here's another thing, right? So he's like, uh, parties in Germany, and they were asked how they view men's issues, right? Um, whether or not they care about these issues, like violence against men, men's health, um, equal rights of fathers, you know, fathers' rights, and so on and so forth. And as you can see, the, the, the red uh, smileys indicate that they don't care uh, about these issues. And those are like the leading parties in Germany. And uh, the parties that are now in power in Germany, like the SPD and the Green Party, uh, they are not caring about men's issues at all. And they are in power, so this is really the bank's patriarchy. So they're not giving a shit about men. And the Green Party even has like a feminist, uh, internal feminist system in, in the party where women can veto the 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 voices of, of men in the in the party. They can veto men in the party. So wh where the hell is the patriarchy? There's no such thing. Distinction is that, in contrast to a patriarchal system, women will run government and society. They already already do that. Consider it a reversal of the 1950s way of life. As gynarchy evolves, culture adapts. Even in the 1950s, the, the women more or less run, run things. So again, you would have to actually show. I mean, you. you you make the positive claims how we live under patriarchy and how we always lived under patriarchy. The burden of proof is on you to provide any evidence for these claims and you have not really done that. To reflect the interests and mentalities of the women and men who live in society, fundamental changes will occur in popular art, entertainment, athletics, public life, home life and interpersonal relationships. As a female-led society becomes generational, newer generations will be so absorbed in the culture that it will be difficult to imagine life before the gynarchy under a patriarchy. This is the exact uh, future that we have to fight against because it gets really, really bad more and more uh, with the misandry and this will be horrible. So. Um, Again, what she's outlining here is a future, is a system that we already partly live live in or live under, but it will get only worse. How would the workplace change if there was a gynarchy for both men and women? Women would now be able to do any work and pursue whatever career they choose without the discrimination that a patriarchal system entails. They already can do that. There's no discrimination. Uh, they're only choices, and they have all the choices. Men can still learn and work in any subject they desire. They are only banned from having power over women. So this is nonsensical <laughs> because, because let, let's say a man starts a company, right? And he's the boss of the company. Then he would automatically have power as the boss of the company over the employees. Um, and some of these employees might, might be female, right? Might be women. So he would then have power over these women in, in that sense that he's the boss of the company. But according to you, that cannot happen. That's, that is bad. So the guy cannot either be the boss of the company or he cannot start the company. So that is not equality or a fair system at all. So it just shows you that she's envisioned a world in which only females are the boss. There is no reason why any administrative post could not be filled by a qualified woman instead. Men in positions of leadership are completely unnecessary. 
and serve only their vanity and petty competition for supremacy over women and other men. It is such a disgusting claim and um, ignores all the great leadership of, uh, of some men. Uh, also, the also again she provides no evidence for anything that she says here so you can just dismiss this as a vile hate speech if a man does not have a valuable contribution to offer as an artist designer scientist mechanic engineer or other intellectual activity he should not be involved in any job that a woman could perform instead the world is exactly as it is today except that if the job is to be the boss of someone only a woman will hold that position. Again, this is absolutely disgusting and not based on merit, but this is just some sexist quota that she wants. So how will this be any better than uh, than just a merit-based system, right? It's disgusting. Even with future breakthroughs in robotics and automation, there will be plenty of opportunities for men to work as workers. In addition, instead of military duty, men will be able to enter the state service, which will be operated by notable female-led institutions. What, what does that even mean? I mean, will they be drafted or not, right? That was so vague and like, uh, I guess, I mean, she, she didn't really say that they will not be drafted so i assume that men will still be drafted under her, her system so i'm sure as hell don't think that she will uh have an equal draft for men and women so or abolish the draft or something like that how does a society go about becoming a gynarchy the first step is to educate people about how the current patriarchal system keeps women oppressed and prevents them from realizing their full potential. We need Again, citation needed. Uh, there's no such thing as women getting oppressed by imaginary patriarchy, so nonsense again. Uh, and st still no evidence, no citations, nothing. Again, uh, l let me show you something, Ryan. So this is simplified approach to measuring gender uh, and national uh, gender inequality. Okay, and measured the gender equality globally, right? Um, and it shows that in 91 out of uh, 131 countries, men were on average more disadvantaged than women. So in the majority of countries, more men than women were disadvantaged. Um, how can you say we live in a patriarchy if that is the case? Right? Nonsense again. But again, her, her channel name says it, says it all. Female supremacy. She, she believes that, that women are biologically superior to to men so this is this is some real gender kkk shit right here to educate society on how patriarchy is the root cause of many of the world's major problems and how a female-led society is not only more natural but also the solution to solve many more natural doesn't mean better even if it were, were more natural that doesn't mean better that's just a naturalistic fallacy right there so that claim can also be dismissed. It's nonsense. These problems, making the world a better place. One of the international gynarchy movement's primary aims is to educate society. Once society has been educated and enlightened, the transition to a female-led society will occur naturally. The educated or brainwashed into your cult. Well, it seems to me like the latter. Transition would be gradual and natural, in politics, it begins with the election of women to crucial posts in government. It begins at home with women assuming responsibility of their households. It begins in the workplace with women assuming higher positions of power. It's already happening. There. Well, if it's already happening, then 
debunks your theory of women being uh, oppressed by some imaginary patriarchy. So that's, that's, you contradict yourself again there. Women have more power than ever in our society and they always had power either directly or indirectly so it, it's just sad that this bullshit video got so many likes it's it's really sad more women in political office now than ever before there are more women in the workplace now and they are in higher positions than ever before as previously said, it is a natural progression because women are stronger leaders and superior to men. Well, stronger leaders that get more involved in, in wars or are more likely to get involved in wars. And uh, yeah, very, very superior indeed, right? And natural leaders that are less likely to be interested in politics uh, and less likely to follow current events you know that's very very impressive very superior right women remain less uh, confident than men of their ability to understand politics wow we need those leaders wow amazing so we had an absolute horseshit of the highest order um that she uh delivered here so yeah I think I just end it right here because it, this doesn't really need much explaining. It's very self-explanatory. You know, her her channel is even called Female Supremacy. How much evidence do you need that this is what feminism is actually all about? It's about female supremacy. It's against equality. It's a fascist movement. It's It's just a fascist hate movement. All right, you don't need to be confused about that. Okay, thanks for watching.